In this tutorial, we are going to learn two new topics, limit and offset. Here you can see a dummy student table. And suppose there are many records in this table. And I want to see all the record at once. For this, we need to type select star from student, means our table name. If I execute this command, it's going to return all the student at once. But the problem is, if we have 3000 student in our table, but I don't want to see all the student at once. I want to see the result in a limited number. And I want to see two student at once. Something like that. Means our first two result, add one and smith. To extract this kind of result, we need to use limit clause. First we need to type limit. Then you need to set the number. We need to set the exact number, how many result I want to extract from the student table. So let's talk about the syntax. How we can write limit clause in our query. First you need to type select command and then you need to provide columns name. Otherwise you can use star sign from table name. Then come where clause. If you want you can set any condition. Otherwise you can skip this where section. It's a optional. You can use it without condition. And then you need to use limit clause. And then you need to provide the number how many result you want to see. So let's start the practical and try to explore how we can use limit clause with SQL command. So I open my MySQL Workbench application and I also open Xam control panel. So first we need to start Apache and then we need to start MySQL. And our server is ready for connection. So I'm going to double click on my connection name, demo. And here you can see my SQL editor. And you can see we have one table in our student database named person. And if I show you the table, here you can see we have five students in our table. And this is our SQL editor. And now I don't want to extract all the result at once. And I want to see this result in a limited number. So I'm going to type select star from our table name person. And then you need to use limit clause. And I want to see two record at once. So I'm going to type two. So if I execute this code, you can see it's written first two result, add one and susmita. Similarly, if I type four and then execute the code, it's written four student at once. Not only that, we can use where condition with that. So I'm going to type where city equal to Pune and I want to see one result at a time. If I execute this code, you can see it's written one result, Rohit and he is from Pune. And now I want to ordering our name column. So I'm going to change the limit. I'm going to type 4 and also I'm going to remove this where clause and I'm going to type order by name. If I execute this code, you can see it written four result and also it print their name in ascending order Advan, Amar, Krish and Rohit. So as you can see we can use everything with our limit clause where clause, order by, null operator etc. As you can see from this table we can extract our first two student but if I want to see the other two student then what? Now I want to see Sophia and Emma and I want to skip our first two student. So to extract this kind of result we need to use another optional keyword with limit clause which is offset. Here you can see a black color number this is our offset. So first we need to provide the offset and we need to provide it before the limit number. So offset work as starting number means where to start. Here you can see our offset is 2 means it start from Sophia because it's going to skip two student add one and smith let's see the syntax of offset how we can use it with select command everything will remain the same just we need to use offset number before the limit number after the limit keyword we need to provide offset number then using comma we need to provide our limit number that's it so let's start the practical and see how it's work so for now i'm going to remove this line and I'm going to set limit and offset 2, comma 2. 
our offset is 2. It means it is going to skip 2 student, number 1 and number 2. And our limit is also 2. It means it is going to return 2 student, number 3 and number 4. So if I execute this code, here you can see it is written 2 student, Amar and Rohit. And it skip 2 student, Advan and Sushmita. Here I set my offset 2. It means it is going to start from 3. And I also set our limit 2. So it is going to return 2 student. As you can see, our ID end with 4. So if I set offset limit 4 and then execute the code, you can see it is written only 1 student. And this is our last student, Krish. And if I set our offset 0, then execute the code, it is going to return our first 2 student, ID 1 and ID 2. So whenever we need to start, always we need to provide 0. So I hope now it's clear for you what is offset and limit in MySQL. Thanks for watching this video.